All right, here we are again in RC time constant circuits. We are going to look at another couple of examples on practice questions for um, the kinds of things you'll be asked in um, an RC time constant. How long will it take the capacitor to fully discharge? So this one should be familiar because we just did on the last video how long will it take the capacitor to fully charge. So what we start with is figuring out time constant 1. Now this one um, is a little different. It has a separate discharge path. So your charge path of course is where both sides of the capacitor are connected to your power source. Your discharge path on the other side is not does not have both sides connected to the power source. So um, that's how you can tell one from the other. All right, so now that we know that this is our discharge side, when we are looking to figure out time constant one, we will be using those components. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this. So if we have um, time constant one, of course, would be 9K multiplied by 85 micro. And then we multiply that by five and we get a time of 3.825 seconds. Now, um, here's our next question, a little bit more complicated than what we've seen. What is the level of charge on the capacitor 0.765 seconds after power is applied. So in this case, they've given you an amount of time, but you have to figure out how that time is significant to the circuit. They've also given you a few clues, right? So they said after, after power is applied. So we're clearly using our charge section of our circuit, which means that when we are trying to figure out time constant one, to compare it to the amount of time we've been given, we are going to use R1, which is 3K, and C1, which is 85 micro. Okay, let's start the process. So we start with time constant one. We've multiplied 85 micro times 3K, and we get 255 milliseconds. All right, once we have time constant one, now we have to figure out what time constant is 0.765 seconds or 765 milliseconds. So we take 765 milliseconds and we divide it by 255 milliseconds, which tells us that we are at time constant three. If we are at time constant three, we know on if we look at our graph down here, if we look at our graph down here, we are at 95%. So we would take our applied voltage, which is 45, multiplied by the percentage of the voltage on our capacitor at time constant three, which is 95%. So we would take 45 times 0.95, and we would get a voltage of 42.75. So the level of charge or the level of voltage on the capacitor at 0.65 seconds after power is applied is 42.75 volts. So it's a process. You have to use the things that are given in the question to help you figure out the answer. All right, let's do another one. What is the level of charge on the capacitor 1.53 seconds after power is removed? All right, so similar question, but now we're looking at after power is removed. So now we're on our discharge path. So when we're figuring out time constant one, we are going to use our um, R2, which is 9K, and C1, which is 85 micro. So we'd start with that, and we get time constant one is 765 milliseconds. Now, again, we are going to compare, right? We are going to take... 1.53 seconds and divide it by 765 milliseconds to figure out what time constant 1.53 seconds is. And when we find that out, right, we discover that it is time constant 2. 
So of course, um, after power is removed, we're going to look at our graph and use our downswing here because that is our um, discharge. So if we look at it and we say, okay, time constant 2 is right here. So we take our applied voltage, multiply it by um, the percentage at time constant 2, which we round up is 14%, and we get a voltage on our capacitor of 6.3 volts at 1.53 seconds. And there is a few um, just practice questions on a slightly more complicated RC time constant circuit. Now you'll notice the only thing that we are interested in when we are looking at RC time constant circuits are the amount of time or the amount of voltage. Okay, those are the only two things that we are looking at. So keep that in mind when you look at your questions. It's either about time or voltage when you're on your RC time constants. And RL is next.